Hi there, welcome back. Uh, let's have an overview of the nurse's rules and responsibilities in caring mechanically ventilated patients. Okay, bear in mind that mechanical ventilation does not cure the patient. Instead, it helps the patient to remain stable while the drugs and therapies aid in their recovery. However, there are certain risks and potential complications associated with the therapy, such as infections, ventilator-related injury, and a possible prolongation of the dying process. It's a difficult task that requires a team of highly qualified professionals to execute. So these are the critical care physician, nurse, respiratory therapist, and other patients associates make up the team. Numerous nursing concerns relating to the treatment of mechanically ventilated patients in the ICU are significantly increasing, but they are fragmentary by nature. The nursing management of uh, these, patients, these patients is difficult on many levels. You must have advanced clinical expertise, extensive knowledge of intrusive monitoring, and the ability to implement intervention to care for the patient. A critical care nurse must also be aware of the additional complexities associated with the patient's condition. So, so, so to summarize the nurse's functions and duties in the care of mechanical, mechanically ventilated patient, there are two primary areas of care that must, must be met. Okay, the patient's safety comes first, followed by the patient's comfort, as well as uh, some general concerns that are part of a nurse's day-to-day -day work on the unit also must be addressed. To promote safety for mechanical ventilated patients, a nurse must use an evidence-based practice assessment framework which is widely used in the critical care settings. The assessment process refers to the systematic and comprehensive nursing assessment. I'll not go through this uh, one by one because I've already discussed this in my previous videos. So please watch that videos. All right. To outline the critical care nursing assessment, it consists of two parts, the quick review or quick survey of the situation which recognizes immediate life-threatening uh, incidents. And the second part is the comprehensive critical care nursing assessment. In the quick review of the situation, we're using the ABCDE survey. A for airway, not the A for apple and B for ball, okay? B for breathing and C for circulation. And then uh, D for disability and E for exposure or patient environment. The second survey is the systematic and comprehensive assessment approach that we're routinely doing uh, in our unit. Uh, and since you are taking care of ventilated patient, have special consideration relating to the patient and ventilator interaction, okay? The secondary survey assessment assesses the function of each body system individually and usually it is done in a head-to-toe sequence. So, we do assess neurological status of the patient, respiratory system, uh, including the artificial airway, the breathing, how the patient responding to the mechanical ventilator, then the cardiovascular, gastrointestinal, and renal, the skin, and also the, we include the patient mobility. Most of the ventilated patients are sedated and some are paralyzed in order to allow greater ease of ventilation. Therefore, Glasgow Coma Scale is really important and it, it is widely, still widely used uh, tool for assessing conscious level, level of a patient in terms of eye opening response, variable response, and motor response. Okay, so 
Sedation score is also with great importance to reduce the significant risk associated with over sedation that would result to increase ventilation time and therefore increase length of stay in the ICU or even in the hospital. A number of tools have been uh, developed to determine the patient's level of, con uh, level of sedation as well as degree of agitation. Example of this is the RAS or the Richmond Agitation Sedation Scale. The degree of neuromuscular blockade is also need to be addressed if patient is under of this medication. Okay, so BIS monitoring or the BIS monitoring is becoming more popular for monitoring sedated and paralyzed patient. Uh, BIS monitoring is by spectral index score monitoring which analyzes electroencephalography or EEG waveforms and statistically estimates the level of sedation of the patient. All right. Now, in addition to the, that safety measures I've mentioned, there are general safety considerations that needed to be established first, such as uh, nurse-patient ratio of one is to one. Uh, it is recommended to ensure that the patient can be closely monitored. Okay? Then, ensure emergency equipment is available at all times in the event of accidental extubation or ventilator failure. Also, uh, routine safety measures must also be done. Uh, this include checking of intravenous infusions, checking equipment and alarm settings, and ensuring the correct attachment of monitoring devices and appropriateness of the alarm. Caring for mechanically ventilated patients have, have many challenges, demanding and requires advanced knowledge of the technological issues underpinned with it. Even though uh, this therapeutic intervention brings an array of potential or actual complications, the benefits still outweigh the risk. Okay. Evidence-based nursing uh, care practices are one of the pillars to ensure quality health outcomes for mechanically ventilated patients. Yeah. To support the use of evidence-based practice, the concept of a ventilator care bundle had been uh, commonly utilized. Uh, the bundle includes four interventions which have scientific and research evidence to support their effectiveness. Number one, head of the bed must be elevated. And number two, a management of sedation, in, uh, including sedation vacation. Number three, peptic ulcer prophylaxis. And number four, deep, deep vein thrombosis prophylaxis. The use of evidence-based protocols and guidelines uh, were available in conjunction with systematic and comprehensive patient assessment promotes best practice in the care of the mechanically ventilated patient okay all right now the second focus of nurses rules and responsibilities is the patient comfort intensive care nursing brings plenty of unique patient physiological and psychological challenges therefore a nurse must have a delicate balance between critical care skills and knowledge and caring role. The ability to observe, safeguard, relate, and value the patient and provide care that is focused on comfort are some of the caring roles that nurses must have. A humane uh, appreciation of the patient's environment and the provision of comfort measures uh, to alleviate and where possible normalize the patient's day-to-day -day routine are also part of nursing roles. Uh, these measures can reduce greatly uh, the psychological stress of mechanically ventilated patients. The other comfort 
measures that routinely needed to be done to promote comfort for mechanically ventilated patients are positioning, hygiene interventions such as eye care, mouth care, uh, washing or bathing, and management of stressors uh, such as pain and the application or the use of sedation also the management of sedation okay these nursing interventions are not just randomly done all right skills and knowledge are needed a nurse required to be competently able to perform perform these cares and must be supported by hospital policy and procedures aside from these two areas of critical care nursing interventions that i've mentioned including the general consideration and concerns that need to be addressed by a critical care nurse there are 10 essential care that in my opinion a nurse should always consider in collaboration with the healthcare team these are maintaining airway maintaining the breathing doing suction appropriately infection prevention routine pain assessment and sedation needs meeting patients nutritional needs reviewing ventilator settings and mode early and appropriate weaning from ventilator review of the multidisciplinary team plan and patient and family education all right now that's the end of this boring topic thank you for watching and i hope you like it